What's up everybody prefix Wiz coming at you with another unity tutorial So today on unity C sharp we're going to talk about how to create a simple homing missile and that starts right now How to create a simple homing missile let's go ahead and open up unity so in our unity scene We just have a simple plane. All right, so in this scene We're just going to go ahead and create capsule and let's go ahead and zero that out all right, and just so we can see the capsule a little bit better, I'm going ahead and made a material. I'm just going to place it right on top of there so we can see it. And then we're just going to make it look more like a missile. Okay, so there's our missile for now. But what we want is the head of our missile to be facing in the Z direction. So in order to achieve this, we're just going to parent it to an empty game object. So first, let's go ahead and create an empty game object. And then let's deparent the game object and rotate it by negative 90. All right, and then what we want to do is go ahead and grab the capsule and make it a child of that empty game object. And now we have the tip of the missile, which would be the front of the missile and the way that we are facing on the Z axis. And we're just gonna rename this to rocket. And we'll rename the capsule to rocket body. Okay, and before we get into doing any scripts, we wanna do two more things with the actual missile. We want to add a physics component, rigid body. And we also wanna add a simple effects, which is the trail render. So we could actually see it fly through the air as it's flying a little bit easier. And we'll make it, uh, well, let's make it pink. Okay, so the next thing that we're going to create in the scene is a target. We need a target for the missile to home in on in order to create the actual homing effect. So let's just create a, a simple sphere. And let's make the sphere a little bit bigger so we can see it in the scene. So we'll make this a 10 by 10 by 10. And let's go ahead and place this at 500 and 500. And now that we have it out there, we're also going to place a material on it so we can see it a little bit better. All right. And let's go ahead and add a rigid body just so we can give it the gravity effect so it can fall. So let's go ahead and set up our script. And we're just going to create a C sharp. And we're going to call this rocket script. We're going to need to know a couple of things. The first thing we need to know is what is the target? So let's just say that we already know what the target is, and that target is going to be that sphere that's out there in the scene. So since we already know what it is, let's just go ahead and get a reference to it. We'll just create a public transform, and we'll call that transform a rocket target. And the next thing we're going to need is a reference to the rigid body that is on the rocket. Okay, and the last two things we're going to need are two public floats. Okay, and one of those is going to be the turn, and we'll explain that a little bit later, and the other one's going to be the rocket velocity. This is what we're actually going to tell the rigid body how fast we want the rocket to move. So what we need to do now is just create a simple fixed update. So the first thing we want to do in this fixed update is tell our rocket we want to grab a hold of the rigid body so that we can mess with your physics. So we're just going to grab the rigid body, make it move forward at this speed. And the next thing we need to do is create a variable. So var rocket target rotation. And we're going to use quaternion look rotation. And then we're going to get the target's position. And we're going to subtract it from our position. Okay, so once we have that calculated information, all we need to do now is actually tell the rigid body that is on the rocket to move in that direction. So again, we're going to grab that reference that we have for the rigid body. And we're going to use the move rotation. So we're going to go ahead and grab that rocket target rotation, that calculation that we defined up here, and we're going to make it turn or move towards it at a specific rate. So let's go back into Unity, and let's grab that rocket, and let's place that script on there. Okay, so remember the four variables that we set up earlier. We're going to go ahead and grab the rigid body of the rocket and just slide it into the rigid body spot so it has a reference to it. And we're also going to grab the sphere that we have out there in the scene. All right, so now that we have a reference to the actual target that the rocket is going to be turning towards, so let's give it a turn rate of 10. And we'll set the movement speed to about 250. And honestly, that's all we really need to do. So what we're going to do is go ahead and hit play at this time. And we can move this around, and the missile will follow this around the scene. All right, that's a super simple way to create a homing missile. So as always, thank you for watching this video. And if you like this video, hit that like button. And in either case, subscribe.